안녕하세요. 이비TV의 이비예요. Today's episode is, be, is going to be about science and English. In the past episodes, we had done maths in English, English grammar, but today's episode is about science in English. In science, today we are going to be learning about biology, the human body. See inside your body. The co- there are nine contents. The contents are your amazing body, eating and excreting, breathing air, pumping blood, bones and muscles, brain power, the senses, drinking and weeing, and body words. Your amazing body. Your body is an amazing machine. It has thousands of different parts, all working together to keep you alive. Important jobs are done by body parts called organs. They include your heart, brain, lungs, liver, skin and stomach. Your brain sends messages along pathways called nerves. See how how on page 10 to 11. Your skin is your body's biggest organ. Your heart is always pumping blood around your body. Find out more on page 6 to 7. Each part of your body is made up of millions of tiny building blocks called cells. You can only see cells through a microscope. Nerve cells are are spiky, long like these. Red blood cells look like round red discs. Turn the page to find out a lot more body facts. Should we look under the flaps? Red blood cells turn skinny and blue when they need oxygen. Your bones are covered in muscles that help you move. See how on pages eight to nine. Holding your body together is a framework of bones. There are lots more about bones on pages eight to nine. So these are your ribs, your arm bones, your heart and your tubes carrying blood. These are your nerves, your lungs, your brain, your liver, your stomach. Should we look under this flap? These are your kidneys. Your kidneys are important organs too. Find out why on page 14. Eating and excreting. Every day you eat food to give you energy. But where does it go to when you swallow? And what does your body do to it then? Number one. First you take a mouthful of food. Your teeth grind it up and you mix it with spit. Number two. The food slips down your food pipe, esophagus, into your stomach. Your stomach. Your stomach turns food into a thick liquid. Liquid food travels into a long, thin tube called the intestine. Useful nutrients soak through your small intestine into your blood. Unwanted food travels into a wider, shorter tube called the large intestine. Your large intestine sucks water out of the sloppy leftover food. Finally, sludgy waste comes out when you go to the loo. Shall we look under the flaps? Fruit and vegetable give you long-lasting energy and help you fight infections. Your tongue rolls the food into a ball then pushes it down your food pipe. Your tongue, it goes down the esophagus. Your food pipe. Your food pipe squeezes the food down into small balls. Into your stomach. Your stomach churns food into a thick liquid like this food is food is broken down into your stomach 
First it's squeezed, then it's soaked into acid. Your liver. Your blood takes nutrients to your liver from the small intestine. Liver, blood. Your small intestine. Your small intestine is lined with millions of tiny bumps called the villi. Food nutrients soak the villi into your blood. The villi, the blood. And then the large intestine. Leftover food is squeezed along your large intestine. Like this. And then it goes down here and to here. The waste is pushed out of your bottom. Now we're going to read the mini facts. Everyone needs to eat a mixture of healthy foods. Junk food contains too much sugar and fat. Your windpipe takes your takes air into your lungs. If food goes down your windpipe by mistake, you cough it you cough to push it back up. So if it goes through here, you cough. In total, your food travels through 9 metres, 30 feet of tubes. The small intestine, the green one, the large intestine, the purple one. Some food creates a smelly gas in your large intestine. You get rid of it by farting. It takes up 3 days for food to travel through your body. Food contains useful things called nutrients. They keep your body going just like a fuel in the car. Spit starts to dissolve your food. It's made in glands like this one, the spit gland. The three main nutrients are protein, carbohydrates and fats. Proteins, carbohydrates and fats. If you eat something bad, your stomach squeezes it back up up to your food pipe and you vomit. You absorb sugar quickly, but it only gives you a short burst of energy. Breathing air. Each time you breathe, you suck air into your lungs. All the cells in your body need oxygen from the air to stay alive. Air comes in through your nose or mouth and travels down your windpipe into your lung. The windpipe and your vocal cords. Bones called ribs protect your lungs and hearts. Together, the ribs make a rib cage. So inside the rib cage is your lungs and your heart. You speak and sing by using air from your lungs. It rushes past your vocal cords and makes them vibrate. The air travels through big tubes into narrow tubes. The lung. When you breathe in, your ribs move out. This person is taking in a big breath And when you breathe out, your ribs move in. These are your ribs. Your ribs are joined by muscles. Two rows of muscles help your ribs move in and out. In a day, an adult breathes nearly enough to fill 1,000 party balloons. The narrow tubes are called bronchioles. The big tubes are called bronchi. We've cut through the ribs and muscles to show inside the lungs. So this is the lungs, and inside the lungs are the bronchioles and the bronchi. Smoking is bad for your lungs. People who smoke have unhealthy lungs and they get coated in tar and turn black. Your windpipe, mucus to sticky liquid and your tiny hairs. Inside your windpipe, tiny hairs and mucus keep dirt away from the lungs. Blood picks up oxygen from your lungs and carries it around your body. The bronchial, 
At the end of each bronchial are tiny air sacs called alveoli. These are the alveoli. And over here is, here you can see how oxygen seeps through the alveoli walls into your blood. It's the oxygen and the blood. Asthma is a condition that affects your lungs. Inhalers help people with asthma breathe more easily. Asthma makes your air tubes swollen and narrow, so it's harder to breathe. Swollen tube. The coughing helps clear infection from your lungs. Mucus picks up nasty germs in your lungs. You cough up mucus and get rid of them, get rid of the germs the germ and the mucus. This is your heart. The diaphragm is a big sheet of muscle under your lungs. It moves down when you breathe in and up when you breathe out.